Okay, uh, you can ignore this part. Uh, I had to switch to my uh, just black and white ribbon because uh, color is not even an option yet. Um, yeah, this is uh, <laughs> it's more complicated than I thought it would be. Let's see, where do I begin? Um, uh, well, okay. Okay, we start out with uh, the Apple 9 pin on one end. That plugs into here. That's the only option you got to plug it into this printer. And that runs to a 25 pin, like a parallel port. But uh, you can't use a parallel port. I was wrong about that on my last video. The parallel port will not work with this printer. So we adapt the 25 pin down to a 9 pin and you want to plug it into the serial. And uh, I did this cable first. Uh, there's two different kinds of serial cables. There's, uh, what are they called, null modem and straight through. I don't remember which one it said it requires. All I know is this cable didn't work, but this cable did. I'm assuming one's, one's null modem, one's straight through. I finally did get this one to work. So we're plugged into the into the serial port. So basically you want a 9 pin serial to a 9 pin round one for the printer. So you're communicating through the COM port is how it works. And as far as I can tell uh, the highest operating system you can go is Windows XP 32-bit. Uh, once you go to 64-bit uh, nobody's, I can no longer find any drivers or anything that'll work. Uh, Windows XP already has these drivers built in. If you go under where you add your printer, you add printer, um, you go through this adding new printer crap, but it ain't gonna find anything. And then it'll tell you, uh, to install printer manually. You hit next. It basically, you're installing a printer manually. You go in here, of course we're not using the printer port, we're using COM1. Um, this depends on which COM port you're plugged into, I'm, I'm plugged into COM1. Uh, and then you look for what's called a C-ITOH, and the model is 8510. I found this information on the internet. And you add that, I'm not gonna because I already have it. And the next thing you gotta do is, uh, hold on here. Image Writer. And I called it Image Writer. Okay, there we go. And another thing you gotta do, it, it will work right away, but it only print about half the page and then you get a bunch of gibberish. That's because it's, uh, that printer can only receive so much data at a time, so we got to go into properties, uh, ports, configure port, and the default for this is 9600. That's just a little too fast for that printer, so I had to slow it down to 24. Um, and that's basically it. That takes care of all the settings on that end. And then, uh, let's see here, uh, hold on. Then the next thing you gotta do is when you open this lid, down in the lower left hand corner, there's some little dip switches there. Um, there's two you have to set. Um, one is uh, on switch two, you have to open switch one. So. The first one on switch two, you have to flip up and switch three, you want to switch it up so it goes to this hardware handshake protocol instead of this other protocol. If you don't, it'll, it'll just print a bunch of garbage. Uh, once you flip them two switches and then all of a sudden it worked. <laughs> so that's as far as I've gotten so far. 
So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. A Pentium 4 Windows XP PC is printing on an Apple image writer. <laughs> Who would have thought? Like I say, I, I remember doing something like this many years ago. I just couldn't remember how I did it. And it never did print perfect. Um, and you could only print black and white. It, print, it always print, it prints text and everything fine. But you can never print like pictures and stuff. But uh, yeah, so yeah, anyway, I, did, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, basically where I started, uh, I just did a Google search for PC to Image Writer 2. And I clicked this first link. It takes you to 68kmia.org, some kind of forum, and uh, a lot of reading. Uh, basically, it was, it was uh, another person who was kind of doing the same thing. He wanted to hook a image writer, and I just kind of skim read th through it. Um, somewhere amongst all this reading, I don't remember exactly where I found it, but there was a link to internetchive.org. Where there's a full PDF owner's manual, or I'm sorry, technical reference manual for this that uh, gives you all the information about what you can do with this printer. Um, that's why I found how to set these dip switches. What page was that? I think it was 22. Come on, computer, sometime today. Yeah, because I wasn't sure how to set them switches. Oops, I went way too far. 22, come on, give me page 22. There we go. Dip switch assembly. Uh, whoops, I went too far here. Where are you? There we go. Yeah, this tells you how to set them uh, switches. Open, close, what they're for, what the defaults are. So that was pretty helpful. But, uh... Yeah, and, and like I say, uh, with all the reading I've did, as far as I know, uh, nobody's gotten gotten any further than Windows XP and using a 32-bit operating system. So that's all I found so far, anyway. Anyway, I thought it was kind of cool. At least I got it working. So I guess that's all for now. Now, for the next silly question, will it print a picture? Um, that I don't know yet. It seems like it didn't back in the day, but... I'm just gonna try it anyway for kicks and giggles. It will be in black and white only. This does not have... The printer is capable of printing in color, but there's not... Nobody's found the right software and drivers to tell it how to print in color. But it will print in black and white. Let's see, oh, I don't wanna waste a whole page here. Let's do a wallet size. Okay. Oops, I forgot to put the cover back on. I better cancel that otherwise it's going to get confused. So hold on. Okay, let's try this again. Well, I did print it. Boy, talk about poor... You know, I just thought of something. This is on low quality. Um, I wonder if I go to high quality, if that'll make a difference. I'm going to try that one more time. See what the heck that does. It's all just experiment for fun. See what that does. No, it doesn't seem to make a difference. Oh well, it does print anyway. <laughs> so, but 
But uh, yeah, this thing is capable of printing much better than that and in color. But to find the right drivers and software to communicate with this, that, that might be a challenge. I might find something someday on the internet, but anyway, that's as far as I got today. So that's all for now. Goodbye.